Hey everyone, it's Marianne Maldonado with Hit Kit Club and I'm going to be using the March kits and I'm going to create this layout. So I'm supposed to use the paper in a creative way. Is it creative? Maybe not, but it's fun, so that wins. Um, so this metal die that I use a piece of is called the Four Fronds Metal Dies and then I use the other leafy looking dies called the branch branch fronds and leaves metal dies what is a frond maybe i should have googled that yeah i have no idea maybe it's a leaf or a twig or a branch or something like that anyway i am going to use the cardstock paper to follow the pattern in that beautiful pink paper and it's creating a circle. So I want to go ahead and add all of the um, leaves in a wreath type circle coordinating with the circle that's on the pink paper. I might have said that the long version, but anyway, you get what I mean? Anyway, I hope so. I am also going to cut out, not all the way cut out, but halfway cut out the butterflies leaving the body of the butterfly where uncut and pop up the leaves and when you do that of course you can see behind it so i backed it with a piece of white cardstock paper just to scrap one because all you see is a little tiny bit of the white if you're looking at the layout at an angle so these photos are pretty special um, it was our last impromptu visit with my father and my stepmother and it was our last visit with them before they both passed. Um, yeah, but it's definitely worth documenting. Um, she would be so mad at me if she knew I was documenting this because she had just had melanoma removed off of her face. And that's why she's got bruising on her face. But again, it tells us we need to use sunscreen. We need to stay out of the sun. And if we're in the sun lather that stuff on because it's no joke uh really isn't a joke but anyway this is not a commercial for um sunscreen it could be if you want it to be but it's more of a commercial for these gorgeous metal leaves um or branches or fronds if you will um i put them all around in a circle and i i went in the order and then i I'd like, you know, pink, white, yellow, gray, and I continued going around, and then I used the smaller little piece of frond. Um, I shouldn't say it that way, because I guess it's obviously a word. It's in the name of the item, but the fronds, I use, the smaller fronds, I use just to fill in some of the gaps in the emptier spaces, because obviously my placing wasn't perfect on the leaves, but I still love it. So I'm creating a kind of, obviously now looking at it, a haphazard type of a wreath, but I love it. I love the colors. I love the the dimension that these loose leaves give. I only anchored them at the base of each frond or leaf. And so it just really creates some movement, texture, dimension, all of those words. Big words. Thank you. Um, so anyway, on that little bottom right tag that you see there, I do journal on there and you'll see that in one of my close-up pictures but I did that off camera you don't need to watch me write um it took me probably 20 minutes to figure out what I was going to write but the longest thing on this layout was cutting out all of those leaves and fronds so the rest of it came together rather quickly because the pieces all coordinate in this kit you really don't have to do much thinking it all looks beautiful um is beautiful and easily comes together so well that was a dramatic pause in the videoing sorry about that um then I add titles and I wanted everybody's names to be on there so Roman's in these photos that's my boy so I called or I used the titles of Grampy and Nana with Roman and then I journaled of course so I'm hoping that you'll use this paper in some really clever way or maybe you'll use these gorgeous metal dies I think there's four metal dies released this month go check them out everything that i'm using and where you can find me where you can find hit kit club where you can join the club all of that will be down in the description box below please give this a like and drop a comment if you enjoyed my video and i will see you next week thanks for stopping by